please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, hey, hey, subscribe, subscribe, eh, hey, hey. Face TV. Was Who do I prefer between Buhari and Atiku? Between Buhari and Atiku. It is not something to think about. If you ask me who do I think before between Buhari and Atiku, I will ask you to look at the Nigerian terrain to see whether you are happy with what you are seeing. Look at the populace of the streets. Of course, definitely I will prefer Atiku. Why would you prefer Atiku, sir? I will prefer Atiku because he is a bureaucrat. He is a politician. More or less, he is an investor. People's investor. Yes, that's why I prefer him. Why do you want Buhari to go or to leave office in 2019? Why do I want to leave office in... Why do, why do I want Buhari to leave office in 2019? A lot of things why I want him to leave office in that... When he came, when he was called, all of us supported him. Change, he needed a change, change, change. But today, are we seeing the change? These are Nigerian youths roaming the streets. We are living in palpable fear. Are you not aware that we are living in palpable fear? Fear of insecurity. Fear of poverty. Economy, education, everything. No, 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 no. The Nigeria will not live under that under under such siege. We're under siege. We are under siege, political siege, and all that it takes. So if you have more questions, ask. Please have answered it professionally. I prefer Atiko. Why? Atiko is a man that has the experience. And the, between him and the Buari, I see him as a capable hand. You know, the situation we have to, we the masses that are suffering the brunt of Nigeria economy, we still have to contribute money to buy, uh, to buy APC tickets for the president who has been there for about four years, and more, more than that, and he has been in government all his life. So today, he is telling us he doesn't have money to buy his tickets to go back. He's lying to us. He has not been, he has not been truthful. A lot of changes, a lot of promises he made to us before he came in. We have not seen anyone. We are yet to see one. And today he said, he, anytime he wants to, he's just a kind of a decent human being. He has never been sincere in his, in his life. And the reason I, I prefer Atiku as a candidate, not because he may be a, the best alternative, but when you have two, when you have only two things, you make, you, you make an, uh, you take an option. One becomes an option because Atiku, I know, cannot come to deceive us to tell us that he don't have money to buy his uh, presidential tickets. Because we knew, if he said that, we know he is saying the same thing that he is coming to deceive us again. And uh, moreover, we need that person who is ready to restructure Nigeria because the biggest problem we have in Nigeria is the structure of the country, where best hands are not being presented because of quota system. You say it is quota system, quota system. Even if it is a cripple who don't have anything to offer because of quota system, you you must go for the person. So, for me, Atiko has come with that promise of uh, uh, restructuring. Let's see whether he will fail like others has promised it and fail. Hey, I prefer Buari. Let Buari continue in work. Why? Because the work that somebody is doing, when you bring Atiku now, all the, all the things that Buhari do for that now, everything will scatter again. Are you hearing me? And then when you see Buhari, Buhari government, you know, the government has been hijacked by some PDP before, from the House of Senate, reached to the House of uh, Rep. Are you hearing me? Now Atiku is coming and saying what to restructure Nigeria. Atiku is faking Nigeria. Atiku is faking Nigeria. Atiku has been a vice president with Obasanjo for eight years. We have not seen anything restructuring. Now, if the government is saying, if Atiku government is coming that he wants to restructure Nigeria, nobody will trust Atiku that he wants to restructure Nigeria. Atiku has been a custom officer for long. We have not seen the impact. We have not seen anything about Atiku. So you understand? Me, I want Buhari to continue and finish it here so that we know where we are going in this country. Now, before, we used to import something from abroad. Now, we are doing it by ourselves. Now, before, we used to go, they used to load money to abroad. Now, the money is reduced. But if you come
come now, you try to scatter all this thing. Then all the money that Buari make down, he will, they will pack it again. PDP has been a government for 16 years. We have not seen good road, no light, no nothing, nothing. This man that is coming now has come for three years. Somebody that was there for 16 years cannot produce anything. You are now comparing somebody who like coming for three years. So let them give him power. Let them give him right to continue his work. And we know where we are going. Um, on my own opinion, I want a totally change. And I be voted Buhari, depending the promise and the campaign and the changes. But along the line, I could not be able to achieve a single one. So to me, I'm not a Pakistan. I'm not a sentimental. I'm looking for a person who can unite this nation, who can unite the country. But going to the each of these two gentlemen, I'm looking at the Buari government, which I voted that he came to divide the country. But to me, as my age, I want this country to be united because I benefited from this country from 70 to 80. But I prefer a man who came to bring us together because all of us, no matter where you come from, we are from Adam. Should not be the language, it should not be the tribal, religious, anything should divide this country. So, with what I saw in article, if God stand with the Nigerian to bring to bring this man into the system, he can be able to unite this country is the best. Buhari is stabilizing this country. He's a sentimental man. It's a man doesn't want to listen to the people. We are talking of the rule of law. Democracy is the rule of law. Then you cannot be a, 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 a ultimate. You ca a tree cannot make a forest. You have to listen to people. We want a, a, a president to listen to people, to listen to the crime of people. People are suffering. People are suffering. The youth are roaming about. Thousands of them have nothing to do. Some they are finishing their, their education in background without doing anything. So we want uh, somebody to make this country go to the promised time and make the economy to booming at its is what. Because these people are enjoying this country. Why are children and children children will not enjoy this country? Thank you. Buari Atiku. I prefer Atiku more than Buari. To me, to, Buari doesn't deserve to go to the second tenor. He should just step down peacefully and gently because the suffering of Nigerians, even me here, I'm a graduate. For how many years I can't get a job? So what's the sense of continue to vote for someone I cannot offer what I need? I don't think Buari deserves second tenor. I don't have employment. I can't even take care of my family. Sufferers are getting too much. And he is still at the president. He should step down. Even the problems even caused in the East, the, what, the, 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 what he did in the, in the East, Abba as a role, he doesn't even require, no, I don't even think that any bowman can vote for him. He should gently step back. He cannot go the second tenor. Thank you. Between uh, Atiku and Buhari, you know, we don't need a hungry man to take over power again. Because when, um, to me, looking at Buhari, when he came there, I get what I'm saying, he wasn't that buoyant, rich enough. But at, at least for the three years, um, he has been there. He has been able to gather an, enough because we have not seen an impact within these three years. I get what I'm saying. Now, Atiku is a fortunate man. He has made his money. However, he has made his money. I get what I'm saying. I don't want to know. But Atiku has come this time around to change Nigeria, to make name. He has made the money. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. We know he has money. He's not a, a hungry man. I think a uh, wrong party they are talking about here. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's useless. It depends on individual. Are you getting what I'm saying? Atiku, to me, are you getting what I'm saying? He's coming to change Nigeria in order to make name. He has made the money. Thank you. Uh, I still prefer President Muhammadu Buhari to still be in power. 
a flat, I will employ all Nigeria to vote for him. Because Nigeria today, that we are looking at today, we are all talking about change. But since 1980s, things have been destroyed. A lot of things are not in place. And we want him to come to power within three years and repair Nigeria. It is not possible. It's just a stepping stone. We should give him that opportunity. Many of us will prefer what we eat now, not thinking about the future, not thinking about the next, the upcoming generation. Nobody wants to be an hero, but we only want to eat. When we eat, we die in poverty. But let us come together. Let's see the future. Let's see what we can do so that we can save the next generation. Some of us have children. Why can't you work for your children? When your children grow up, they will be able to pray for you. So that is all I have for now. So we, we saw some things that was going on wrong. We said, okay, we needed a change. That we changed, we voted the body in. Now with what is going on now, we the Nigerians have decided, not, decided to change him. So I think with me, for myself, we have to vote Atiku. Let's try him. We have to try Atiku. Atiku to become the next president of Nigeria. Because of uh, his campaign promises, and apart from that, his help to the humanity. The thing really showed that if he becomes Nigeria president, things will get more better than as we are experiencing it now. Why, why do you want uh, Buhari to quit office 2019? It's because of for 2015, I personally, on myself, I campaigned for him and I supported him and I voted him before he won the election. But as we can see what is happening today, most of his campaign promises, he could not be able to fulfill all of them. For, like, for example, in the area of uh, corruption and the, and the security, he couldn't be able to meet up as he said. Look at the killing at the Benoit State and the Plateau State. Every day people are dying there. All those things is something that he assured us that once he enters, that security of Nigeria will be 100%. But as we can see, it is not as he, he said it during his campaign for 2015. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV.